Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm super excited as you will have seen by the title. I am doing the Merry Christmas Makeup Tag 2022. Um, this is a tag from a collaboration of two of my favourite creators over here on YouTube and um, that is Debbie of Vinyl Beauty. Um, for those of you well, if you don't know who Debbie is, she is just one of the most wonderful people ever. I adore her. Her channel is amazing. She does some really creative looks. She is a proper advocate for colourful makeup in us older ladies. And she just does such beautiful looks. And her eyeshadow palette collection, wow. Just wow. We need her to do an up-to-date eyeshadow palette collection video definitely um but yeah she's absolutely wonderful um it was actually debbie that gave me the kick up the ass um that i needed to start my channel she helped me so much she encouraged me so much and i am forever forever grateful and she also does a lot of videos um with not necessarily the newer palettes um i know debbie has been on a low buy um although i have seen i believe a couple of videos recently with newer stuff um but she does try to use what she already has she's a big advocate for that and yeah i love her so if you don't know who she is please do head on over to her channel and say hi subscribe like comment and um, you'll find debbie's channel li linked in the description box below um yeah she's wonderful i highly recommend you go over there the other creator is steph of steph's beauty stash she is like a ray of sunshine over here on youtube she is just such a sweet lovely person and she always makes time to chat with people in the comments section i love that she does the most amazing in-depth foundation tuto tutorials reviews her channel is mostly a review channel you'll see so much up-to-date stuff it's really really helpful um but her foundation reviews she does two two day 10 hour wear tests um on the first day she'll do it with no primer um, setting the spray or anything to help the foundation stay put um and she'll do the 10 hour wear test with it like that and then the following Day. she will do it with as she would usually do her makeup with a primer powder etc um but yeah i find her foundation reviews to be incredibly helpful um we wear pretty much the same shade foundation and both have kind of oily t-zones so yeah really helpful for me i love them um she also does eyeshadow palette reviews um multiple looks with them so she really kind of dives into it to get a really good feel for the palette um yeah she's just lovely a ray of sunshine um so yes i'm pretty sure all of you will know who she is um but if you don't steph's channel will be linked in the description box below also and i will also make sure to list the 10 questions um which i believe debbie chose or decided on the questions um yeah i will put pop them in the description box below for any of you creators out there if you fancy doing the tag video the questions are there um and for any of you that don't have channels or just want to answer the questions in the comment section below then please do i would love to hear your answers also right I've natted long enough so I do have a few new to me products here to kind of try out whilst doing this so yeah let's dive in so the eyeshadow palette I'm starting with is the glam light scooby-doo creeps and crawls 10 shade palette the I don't like that they don't have names they have numbers but anyways so this is the beauty that I'm going to be playing with today. So let's make sure my eye primer's patted down. I used the Beauty Bay Eye Base uh, shade two. I have been really, really enjoying using this eye base. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a Christmas party makeup, my kind of Christmas party makeup. I'm gonna start with the deep 
blue mats and question one so share a memorable gift opening moment from your childhood um well this one's quite easy actually because when oh crikey how old would i have been do you know i don't even i can't even say exactly how old that i would have been at the time um but both me and my sister got these cricket dolls and they had like a, a cassette player in them and I remember the story she said about making homemade lemonade and that's about all I remember what she talked about um, but those dolls were the highlight of that Christmas 100% and uh, I know that my my cousin really wanted one and she was gutted that she didn't get one too I didn't find that out for years but yeah it was uh, the best Christmas present ever I absolutely did not put that doll down for a long long time um, but yeah I think as far as opening gifts, that would be my my big one that I remember. Big one that I remember. <laughs> um, so yeah, my cricket doll. Okay, I know it's looking messy at the moment, but bear with me. Um, so, I am next going to go into the matte green. And what question do we have next so you're walking down the street feeling great what holiday song would be playing in the background oh crikey that's a really difficult one um if it was the first song of the year then it would be jim reeves silver bells um We've always played that first. It was the one that my nan played first, my granddad, my mum, you know, we all do it. Um it's it's kind of a a memory, quite a fond memory as much as anything else, because Christmas was my nan's and my granddad's absolute favourite favourite times of the year, time of the year. Um my nan would sit there um, on Christmas ready to open the presents with a pair of scissors. She was terrible. If she knew that there were presents for her hidden somewhere, she would unwrap them, like secretly unwrap them, and then wrap them back up. <laughs> she was a nightmare. But yeah, Silver Bells always takes me back to when my nan and my granddad, he used to... I don't know whether it was just in the UK or how much of a thing it was, but for those of you older, maybe you remember, um, the ceiling chains, the Christmas chains that would hang on the ceiling were made from paper and he had so many. He would first get all of the fairy lights and they would be covering the ceiling in like crisscross, absolutely covered. And then all the paper chains and then hanging from the paper chains was the lametta, the thin bits of tinsel. Literally, my granddad's house was like Santa's grotto. It was like walking into Santa's grotto. Oh, it was amazing. Um, and as a kid, especially, it was truly magical. So, yeah, silver bells. Um, but if it wasn't the first song first christmas song i listened to of the year then it would have to be white christmas because if i was walking down the street feeling great at christmas time then it would be snowing <laughs> um so yeah white christmas but i i do love pretty much all christmas songs Oh, this is taking a bold turn. Okay, let's get a floofy, floofy brush. Uh, 
and go into the light purple mat. So yes, we are on question number three. What kind of holiday shopper are you? Black Friday, Christmas Eve, year long. Um, well, I'm definitely not year long. <laughs> my mum is. My mum always does Christmas shopping throughout the year. Um, but I am more Black Friday and I, say, I wouldn't say necessarily Christmas Eve, but yeah, more last minute than uh, than I should be. I intend to start sooner every single year and it never happens. So I've kind of, kind of given up on that a little bit. I know the, the green and the purple aren't really going to blend that all together, but I don't care. This is a, a Steph party look, so it's all good. I did used to love doing Christmas shopping with my mum and my nan. It used to be me, my mum, my nan and my sister. We used to, when we all lived on the Isle of Wight, we'd get the boat over to Portsmouth and we'd go around Portsmouth town um, to buy all our Christmas presents. And it, it was so much fun. Me and my nan were a nightmare for wanting to stop and sit and have a cup of tea and a cigarette outside every cafe. Um, that just made it more enjoyable. It was a bit of me and nan time. Um, but yeah, I used to love that for Christmas shopping and going with all these bags with presents for everybody. And I've always loved buying presents for others. I just think it's so trying to think of what it is they might want and yeah super super exciting okay so i've tidied all of that up cut my crease and i'm going to go into this purple shimmer over on the end here okay so question number four if you could only have one type of christmas candy this year what would you choose oh my word um that's a really, really tough one. It would have to be either Roses or Quality Street. Um, I don't know if you have them anywhere else in the world. Um, but if you don't, it's a big tin of chocolates. They're all individually wrapped, all different flavours. Um, both Roses and Quality Street remind me of Christmas um they're always for sale every year in the supermarkets and I love them and every when we were young all of the different family members would have Christmas parties at their houses like in the lead up to Christmas and in between Christmas and New Year there was always parties to go to and there were always always these tins of chocolates and luckily for me I liked all of them because you always found that there was one one flavour one type that was always left in the bottom that no one else wanted and if you liked that you kind of had struck gold <laughs> because you could just have them all <laughs> but yeah the Definitely Quality Street or Roses. Come to think of it, we haven't picked any of them up for this year yet. I'm gonna have to stick that on the list. Or those on the list. I think for my daughter it would be Toffafees. Yes. <laughs> yes. She she's actually sat here. Yes, Toffafees for her. <laughs> or pink smarties. Or pink smarties. There you go. Neither of us can Narrow it down to just one, either or. I still answered the question though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I am going to go into the Deep Dark Purple. And what's the next question? Question five, would you rather have three feet of snow at Christmas or no snow at all? Well, that's super easy. Three feet of snow. <laughs> easy peasy. Um, 
I've always been well I say always been a lover of the snow the one thing I didn't like about it is when you're out making snowballs like with your gloves on um when you would come inside and once the warmth hit you fingers would really sting um yeah I didn't particularly love that bit <laughs> but especially at Christmas time it would be wonderful to have snow it's not something we tend to get here and when we get snow we're lucky if we get like a couple of centimeters or an inch or two yeah i don't think we've ever had like proper not in my life to have proper snow at christmas well definitely not that i can remember anyways um but yeah i absolutely love the snow and at christmas it just seems so magical And obviously with the song I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, I think that's one of the reasons I love that so much because that is kind of the dream to have a white Christmas. Maybe one day. We'll see. But yes, definitely three feet of snow. We do love the snow. We did have a sprinkling of snow a couple of nights ago. And when I say sprinkling, I mean it, it's like someone had taken... Just a little pot of snow and just sprinkled it around. Um, but Jace got to see snow for the first time. That's our puppy for any of you who don't know. Yeah, it was really fun seeing his reaction to it. We did actually, the year we moved in here, it was in March and we woke up on the first morning in this house to snow and it was so much fun like poppy our previous dog um she absolutely loved the snow you make snowballs and throw them for her and she'd try and catch them and then like wonder where they'd gone because obviously they fall apart um mr fluff wasn't so much of a lover um he's generally an indoor cat but if we sit in the garden for any reason, sometimes he'll come out with us, but he'll stay with us. He's not not an outdoor cat at all. Um, yeah, he, well, he was walking in it, but I kind of threw some snow at him. I was playing, <laughs> like not through like a big snowball or anything, but yeah, he, he wasn't keen. <laughs> Poppy was. Yeah, it'd be nice for Jace to see, like, proper snow. And I know my Kira would love snow at Christmas. She is nodding her head. I can see out the corner of my eye. <laughs> I do love these shadows, but then I knew I would. It's hardly a shock. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, so I'm next going to go into this lighter purple mat and answer question number six. If you had to be trapped in a Christmas movie, which would it be? Oh my word, that is so difficult. Just one. Just one movie. Um, I think I want to say Elf. <laughs> Just because... He just seems like so much fun. It definitely wouldn't be a dull moment at all with Buddy the Elf around with there. <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely love to play in the snow with Buddy the Elf and go with him to visit Papa Elf and all of the other elves and sit and have like Christmas candy with santa that would be so much fun and see all the reindeer oh really really he's talking to the wall it's okay it's all good the wall is his friend um <laughs> bless him so yeah elf although i I kind of want to say Home Alone as well, just because I think it would be funny to play all the tricks on on the 
and burglars along with Kevin. Yeah, they're two of my favourite Christmas movies anyways. So yeah, it would be super fun. So for shimmers, I'm first going to go into this darker shimmer here. It looks like a duochrome. And what's the next question? Question seven, name a Christmas song that would be on your party playlist. I can't choose just one. Um, okay, we're going to go with the Pogues with featuring Kirsty McCall. Um, that is always on my Christmas playlist. Um, it's one of my all-time favourites, if not my all-time favourite Christmas song. I think Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas is another favourite. Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton, You Make It Feel Like Christmas is just, I, I adore that song. Um, what other ones? Um, Last Christmas, yep, yeah, Wham. Um, I do like Mud doing Lonely This Christmas. I can't choose just one. I can't do it. <laughs> I absolutely adore Christmas music. And what well, used to be that I would only have like Christmas songs from the 1st of December right the way through to New Year. Um, but the last couple of years, what with the lockdowns and everything, we started doing it in November, putting the tree up and the decks and the Christmas songs, the Christmas movies. But I think my pretty much my favourite is the Pogues and Kirsty McCall. Fairy Tale of New York. Okay, now going into the shimmer here in the middle. Okay, so question number eight. What's your least favourite item on your Christmas to-do list? Um taking the decorations down has to be the worst because it goes from being all magical and sparkly and, and then it goes to well nothing because you've taken it all down um so yeah i think definitely taking the decorations down is just it's so miserable but also cooking but then i don't tend to cook in this house because i can't I'm a can't cook, won't cook, hate cooking kind of person. Um, I, up until, well, when Kira was still young, she would, <laughs> she liked burnt food because she was pretty much used to it. And the first time that I did a Christmas dinner, I wasn't sure how to cook the chicken, so... Kira started laughing already. So I got the slow cooker and the chicken was too big to fit <laughs> fit in the slow cooker so I broke all its legs and squished it in there and then when it came to doing the, the Christmas dinner I went to take the chicken out of the slow cooker and all the meat fell off the bones <laughs> so it was pieces of chicken. <laughs> I'm not really trusted to do Christmas dinners. <laughs> yeah, and it was that Aunt Bessie's roast potatoes, like frozen, cooked from frozen, um, and the Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> but, yeah. Funnily enough, no one asks me to do Christmas dinner anymore. Okay, all cleaned up and I use the Juvia's Place Liquid Eyeshadow Duo Chrome one, the shade Fula, I think it's called. Um just to go through that line just to make it a bit more party like. Um so I've got a couple of new bits, face bits to try. Um I have the Body Collection England Perfecting Primer. So let's see. No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. 
So it is a pump. Ah, here we go. Ooh, it's, yeah. Let's uh, see what this does then. Hmm. It feels really nice. It feels really hydrating. And it looks like it's got a real glow. What does it say? <coughs> says an instant skin perfecter a true multi-use product used as a primer radiance cream illuminator and highlighter oh can be worn alone under makeup or as a highlighter for that perfect finishing touch okay well we're we're highlighting the whole face so essentially it's kind of like the um kiko milano illuminating primer i have let's have a look yeah oh that's pretty i don't think i'd wear it alone because i do look a bit shiny and so do my hands there okay try and clean clean this off my fingers um i do like how that looks though i think it's going to be nice under the foundation i'm using i say foundation it is a just ruin that um it's a tinted moisturizer it's body collection england tinted moisturizer glow in zero one light um so yeah let's pop this a squeezy one so I'll just pop some on the back of my hand there oh i think i've put way too much there but we shall see let's grab foundation brush Okay, way too much there on my hand, but never mind. Oh, okay. Now it's a tinted moisturiser, so there's not really going to be much, if any, coverage. Just more kind of evening, evening out the skin tone, I think. But I will be going in with a concealer also well i do look very very glowy <laughs> a proper illumination primer i wasn't actually expecting that i did not read that properly see i wasn't expecting the the primer to be quite so quite so illuminating um but yeah this is looking nice on the skin There's no coverage really, but then I wasn't expecting it, so it's not like I thought I was going to have a full coverage foundation when it says tinted moisturiser. But now I'm trying to use more of the kind of lighter weight creams, just creams, <laughs> foundations, tints, just because obviously my skin's aging and they're more forgiving on aging skin just cream products in general i think but well i look very glowy very very glowy which is good because we're going to a christmas party okay so lesson learned maybe don't use a very glowy illuminating primer under that but okay okay so i'm gonna go in with my natasha denona transfix matte concealer not sure it's gonna go but it might help make me a little less shiny i've got hair on my face cat hairs get everywhere wow, and dog hairs these days i can't tell whose is whose because both Jace and Mr. Fluff have long, long black fur. So, question number nine. Which holiday movie do you watch over and over? Um, well, there's a few. Home Alone, Elf, Santa Claus the Movie, Arthur Christmas, Jack Frost. 
um, would be the Grinch as well, but we don't appear to have that on DVD. So, but I do love that film also. Yeah, I think so far this year, what one have we watched the most? I want to say Jack Frost and Home Alone and Elf. Crikey, I, I don't know. I couldn't... There isn't just one. I'm not very good at these questions, am I? <laughs> I can't give just one because there's a few. And um, my favourite just changes as and when I guess um but yeah there's a few that we watch over and over I am well not just me in this house we are very much um what I call comfort film watchers so we have films that we can watch over and over again or the Harry Potters the Guardians of the Galaxies um so it's no different at Christmas only the the Christmas movies. I'm going to quickly do my under eyes, my cream contour powder because I do have a couple of other face bits to try so I will be back in just a moment. Okay so I've finished my base, I've got some bronzer on, I do have a blush and a highlight to try so I'm just going to crack on with the under eyes. I'm going to go into the dark purple matte we do only have one question left and that is finish this sentence it wouldn't be christmas without oh family presents um family is the main one for me i think it definitely wouldn't be christmas if i didn't have my family around me um but yeah presents i love buying presents it's not always easy choosing what to get people but i do i love it all i everything about christmas the decorations christmas tree advent calendars christmas music christmas movies i i could go on and on and on um but yeah, if I have to say just one, I would say family. Because it is family that really make make it magical, sharing it with your family. And it does tend to be for a lot of us, I think. I mean, if it's not like this for you, then you know, feel free to say so. Um, but generally, it's the one time of year when you get like lots of the family members together at the same time. Because that's not something that generally happens throughout the year um i think as you get older everyone's got their own families and when you've got partners you've got both sets of families to to see and yeah i just think it's really nice to just to see everyone to eat drink be merry <laughs> and all of that I'm then going to go into this map. I haven't used that one yet. We've got two, oh, two thingy shades to choose. I'm going to have to try and fit them on somehow. We'll work something out. Um, so yeah, that was uh, the answers to my questions my questions to the 10 questions Ooh. these scooby-doo palettes are absolutely gorgeous i have been i've loved playing with both of them i do already have the video up playing with the first one the first one the other one um the Roro Raggy palette and oh crikey how do I choose between the two they're both absolutely stunning and I think they would really complement each other beautifully um let's get you I'm just gonna go into the lightest purple just a little bit 
nearly went in the wrong one then so yeah guys let me know what you think of the answers are yours similar to mine different to mine i know everybody sees it differently and it's interesting to hear other people's other people's take on things okay so i'm gonna first dip into the deepest of the two purples we have left that one <laughs> and i'm getting a bit of that on the brush and i'm gonna take that just along along the outer part really want to make sure that i have used all of the shades seeing as i'm just doing the one look and not a different one on each eye beautiful and then finally the lighter of the purple shimmers well a lot of the ones that are left anyways um i'm gonna take that and pop that on the inner part there oh yeah i'm i'm a little bit in love with these palettes they are stunning before i go off to finish my face i do have a new blush and highlight that i want to try out um, the blush is from Body Collection England. I have it in the shade Rose and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love the shade. I love the little design in it. So let's grab a brush and see what this does. Oh, she's got some pigment. I have been really enjoying the products from Body Collection England. Um, I don't know if you can get them outside of the UK, um, but if you're in the UK, they're sold in Wilco's. Um, I've, I've got two foundations from them. Um, make that three. Well, two foundations and the tinted moisturiser. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed using the products so if you're looking for kind of cheaper drugstore options that are worth getting that actually work and are good um then yeah i would recommend body collection england and the shade actually goes really well with the eye look okay yeah i like this looks beautiful and highlighter i i've had this for a while um i don't know i haven't tried it yet it's from catrice and it's their lumi nice highlight and bronze glow palette and it's got these three shades here and I am going to, I'm going to use the one in the middle, I think. I think that one's going to look nice. It looks to be the shiniest, <laughs> the most sparkly. I don't know. I don't know see. Okay. It's definitely buildable. But it is building up beautifully. It doesn't leave a cast. Okay. I am plying on more because, well, one, it's me and I love lots of highlight. Um, but two, party look. I think just because I want to try it, I'm going to use this first one. Just wiggle my brush off. Um, I'm going to use that to go down center of my nose okay a little bit there okay i am not mad at that at all that looks beautiful oh yeah i don't know why it's taken me so long to try this catrice do some amazing amazing products they're another affordable brand that I highly recommend. 
So yes, I'm going to nip off now, finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and wrap things up. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I'm back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the com comment section below. Um, I'm feeling very party ready. Not quite dressed for it in dungarees, but the face is ready. Um, I'll just let you know a couple of the bits I popped on. So for the wing liner, I used the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner and I topped it with the W7 Galaxy Glam Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliner in Shooting Star. Why has everything got to have such a long name? In my waterline, I used the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in, I believe it is Silver Lake. I can't read that properly. I think it is, um, but it'll be listed in the description box below anyway, just in case I've got that wrong. And then on my lips, I have got the Revolution, what are you called? IRL Whipped Lip Cream. These are so comfortable. I, I need this in more shades. Um, and I topped it with one of the W7 Galaxy Glam Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliners. And that is in the shade Cosmic. So, quickly, what I think of the newer things I've tried. The primer is super, super illuminating. I was not expecting that. But yeah it's beautiful um definitely not for under <laughs> the tinted glow tinted moisturizer um but yeah i like how they both look on the skin i definitely will need to try this again over more of a mattifying primer or just smoothing primer but yes so far i like them and my blush the body collection england matte blusher Oh, I should have said that. They're both Body Collection England as well. It's getting towards the end of the day, guys. Um, so, yeah, Body Collection England, the matte blusher in the shade Rose. This is beautiful. The formula was really easy to work with. It blended out beautifully. I love the colour. Not really much else I can say. I'm loving it. Um, the Lumi Nice Highlight and Bronze Glow Palette from Catrice. Um, obviously I only used these two shades they're nice they're buildable it built up to a really nice glow they're not quite as blinding as I generally would go for but they're nice Lumi nice so yeah kind of goes um, and then oh the Scooby-Doo palette Scooby-Doo creeps and crawls 10, 10 shade eyeshadow palette I love the packaging on these takes me back to my childhood I managed to use all 10 shades I've no idea how but I did um and I love everything about this palette it is just stunning blue green purple shifty shimmers it's just stunning absolutely stunning but I I did fully expect to love it I love the other Scooby-Doo palette which is a bit of a kind of giveaway if you haven't watched the other video um but yeah so no duds that's always good um and yeah i had so so much fun answering the questions for the merry christmas makeup tag for 2022 jace is trying to tap dance um yeah debbie steph you both did an absolutely fantastic job creating this tag it was so much fun again both Steph's and Debbie's channels will be linked in the description box below if for any reason you don't know who they are please go check them out subscribe like comment all that good stuff they are both wonderful beautiful human beings I adore them both two of my favorite creators here on YouTube and Debbie responsible for giving me the push I needed to start my channel so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you are new and you like colourful makeup, I'm all about the colour, um, and you like to see indie brands represented more, maybe discover some new indie brands, um, then please do make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video, which 
over the next month should be a lot because I have a lot of Christmas stuff planned. So thank you so much for joining me today, spending this time with me. I appreciate every single one of you so, so much. Yeah, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.